We should take down the creepy masks if we don't want to scare the buyers away. Oh, so now you don't want to scare someone with those masks. Are these authentic, Clinket? I doubt it. I'm surprised Marianne would buy fakes. 20 years ago, everyone was buying fakes. Huh. This bathroom still smells like Marianne. Good scrub and we'll I tried to bury this dress in the backyard, but Marianne caught me. It was a pretty dress. Yeah, well, we both know pretty was never my thing. What are we gonna do with all her jewelry? Well, I'm certainly not gonna wear it. Donation pile it is, then. Hmm. Not a total disaster, Ronan. Wow. I forgot all about her weird concoctions. And how she was always testing them on us. Like we were lab rats. Mom? About me joining the hockey team? Mom! Sorry, what? Uh, not now. Maybe next year. But you promised! Keep whining, and my next year will become never. Can you cut my hair? Your hair is fine. But I want to cut it short. Really short. What? Look, I'm tired! And I'm busy! Let's talk about this later. You always say that. Marianne said no to everything. It made me so pissed. She was always on edge those last few months. Yeah, and completely deaf to everything I was telling her I needed. She pretty much always said no to me too. True, but it felt personal with me. I didn't realize how much I missed the smell of firewood. I miss the cold winter nights curled up here, with big mugs of hot cocoa. Yeah, Marianne was so tired she was usually asleep on the couch. Ah, that's why it was so nice. No Marianne. We'd use our voice so we didn't wake her up. And then we'd be up all night telling stories, and watching the fire die. And Marianne- She took so many pictures. Yeah, like she had to document every second of our lives. You can keep some of them, if you want. No thanks. I mean, I like the photos of us, but I don't think I can forget that she was the one aiming the camera. Wow, I'm so embarrassed for us. Many Da Vinci's we were not. She saved every drawing we ever did. There's a couple of these I might keep. Uh -huh. I don't remember these. It's probably one of Marianne's unfinished masterpieces. There's two of them. Maybe they were us in some weird way that only made sense to Marianne. After all- String, glue, duct tape. The holy trinity of house repair. Marianne loved having something to fix. But not the part where it got broken, especially if we were the ones responsible. I know. I'm just saying she liked to save broken things. If you don't come up soon, I'm gonna take whatever I want from our bedroom. No way! Wait for me! Know this? This feels like home. Look, 
It's the game we made, Lusion Tramway. That game never made any sense. Didn't stop us from playing all day. Dude, we were kids. All we needed were rocks and bird feathers. Hey, buddy. It's been a long time. Hey, the postcard we sent ourselves from Juno. Forever alone. What? We barely had any friends. We even had to be our own pen pals. Whenever we asked for a TV, she'd just bring home a big stack of books. I think she did us a favor with that one. Mm, you may not agree when we start digging into the HBO back catalog. We'll see. Look what I found! What? Only our greatest creation, the Book of Goblins. <laughs> Seriously? It was in that chest the whole time? All these stories. I had ideas for so many more. Marianne wrote a lot of them. Yeah. It's one of the only times I remember her being at peace. Ah, where is it? You looking for something in particular? My diary. You never told me about it. Yeah. With the way Marianne was, I tried extra hard to keep it a secret. Marianne. Yeah, that day she found out about it. Mom? Mom, where is it? What did you do with it? What now? I can't find my diary. I know you stole it. Give it back. Sweetie, whatever I do, it's just for your benefit. You read it, didn't you? You had no right to do that. I have the right to do whatever I need to protect my little girl. I'm not your girl. I hate you. You will always be my little girl. And no matter how hard you fight me, I'll fight twice as hard to keep you safe. <sighs> I don't know how I never saw it coming. She told me right to my face. She was willing to hurt me, to keep me from transitioning. Tyler, there is no way you could have known she'd go that far. I want my diary back. Her room was the only place I didn't look. Okay, but do you need to get it, like, now? That diary was important to me, Allison. Writing down my thoughts helped me realize who I am. Well, then let's go find it. You think her room is still locked? It always was. I'm not looking forward to going in there. I know, but we'll have to eventually, and I need it back. Ice King finally caught the hag. His furious voice could be heard throughout the forest. For your wickedness, you will be eternally bound to the lake. What? No way. Quiet, let me finish. You will no longer be allowed to leave. Not even under a full moon. The moon hag was imprisoned in the lake. 
and she never again tried to escape. Hmm. Hmm. And then the title. What do you think? Not bad, right? Uh, I guess that's okay. But I would have changed the end. What? No way! The Ice King. I totally forgot about him. That's because it was dangerous to mention his name. He was too powerful. Where'd you come from? Hold up. What? Remember this? Uh, unfortunately. You must solve my riddle to earn the right to enter the princess's sanctum. Nothing a good hard shove won't take care of. I mean, yes, we could brute force it, but it might be kind of fun to finally solve it, right? We have different definitions of the word fun. Okay, well, if we break it, we're just gonna have to fix it for the sale. So let's at least try not to. You have the Book of Goblins? Yep. Hand it over. What are you looking for? The image on the door. It's making me think of a story from the book. One that Marianne wrote. You have a way better memory than me. Well, the Book of Goblins was my creation. And you'll never let anyone forget it. Here it is. The one about the princess's party. Give it a read. I think the symbols may represent something in the story. First ghost memories, now storybook puzzles. What a weird day. What a weird childhood. Touché. And boom, we're in. So many years, I expected this to feel more, you know, like a win. Speak for yourself. I'm the one who solved the riddle. Why do I feel like you're not gonna let me forget that? Where do you think we should start looking? I don't know. Where in this mess would she stash someone else's personal thoughts?
Ugh. Sewing lessons were the absolute worst. She made all our clothes. I'm sure she needed the help. And I for one am happy I did. I just can't get through. Whatever's going on, they won't let me in. They used to tell me everything, but they shut me out, Tessa. They've shut me out. I've had so much on my plate lately, and... And... They're convinced I'm the enemy, and I don't know why! I need them. I need my goblins. I remember now. We heard her crying. We listened through the door. Seeing her like this, as if she's still here, it's... It really sucks. She was really coming apart those last few months, wasn't she? Oh, this explains a lot. They're mostly full. She was too stubborn to take medication. She always had to have a picture of us close by. Why this picture, though? I mean, do you see the expression on our faces? It's here. I knew it. I fucking knew it. Do you think she read it? Of course. She was nosy as hell. Tyler. What? Look. What? Where did you find that? It was on her desk with her papers. Seriously? Are you fucking kidding me? Look, we gotta be really careful not to overthink this. It doesn't make any sense. She, she was mad, right? She was mad at I, I cut my hair. She attacked me because I cut my hair. She was mad and she attacked you. We both saw it. Then what is this shit? I don't know. I don't know. Tyler, come here. She can't do this to me. Not now, when I've finally made sense of a few things. Well, that was your first mistake. Thinking the world made any kind of sense. <laughs> Ten years in the grave, and she's still finding new ways to piss us off. Yeah. I think I need some air.